A common myth is that Google Sheets is good for working with numbers and calculations only. However, this tool is also great in analyzing texts. Hello, my name is Anastasia and welcome to Railsware Product Academy. Today we will learn how to change the capitalization, how to remove extra spaces, how to find and replace specific values, how to combine and split texts, and how to use wildcards in Google Sheets. I've prepared two simple cases for us to use today, and you can find them in the practice sheet in the video description. Also, if you want to jump right to a specific section, you can use the timestamps. First, Let's see how to manage the capitalization. Most probably, you've struggled with data entries in caps. There is a fast way to fix this. Use the proper function, which capitalizes the first letter of each word. Let's apply this function to the column with the first names that were keyed in an upper and lower case. Let's insert the column on the right to see the fixed values there. Enter an equal sign, proper, Open the round brackets, enter the reference to the cell with the name, hit enter, and there we go, the name is in the proper case. Drag the formula down. Now I want to replace the first column with the fixed values. Choose the range, copy and paste it here. We need to choose space special, values only, otherwise we will get errors. There are two more text functions that you can use here. Upper and lower functions convert the text into a specific cell to uppercase and lowercase accordingly. Let's type Jane in uppercase, so we use upper A2. Now Oliver in lowercase, lower A3. If you select both cells and copy till the end of the column, you can see that upper and lower case go one by one. We can delete this column now. For most of the Google Sheets functions to recognize specific texts, those have to be in a proper format. There can be no extra spaces or trailing spaces if you want to use text as a reference. The text may look good, but there are still trailing spaces not visible at the first sight. And if we click on this cell, you can see that we've got extra spaces. The most simple option to clean up your data is to use the Trim white space feature. We select a range or even a whole spreadsheet. Click on the left upper corner. Go to Data, Trim white space. Here we have info about how many cells were cleaned up. Click OK to close it. You can also use the Trim formula in combination with other Google Sheets formulas and avoid creating extra columns to get updated values. It returns the cleaned up value you can refer to. For example, I need to filter the first names with the last name Davis. Let's type equal sign, filter, open round brackets, A2 to A, first names range to filter, comma, B2 to B is equal to Davis in quotes, and close the round brackets. As you can see, no matches were found. This is because G-Sheets is looking for an exact match, which is not possible if we have those extra spaces. Let's wrap B2 to B into the trim function, and here is the first name we were looking for. Let's talk about how we can replace the value in our text. For example, you can see that in the column with the subscription type, we have mistakes in the word standard in a couple of cells. These repetitive mistakes are easy to fix with the find and replace feature. Select the column where we want to replace data. Click on Edit in the menu, Find and Replace. First, we enter what we are looking for here. We copy our misspelled standard and paste it. We want to replace it with standard, with just one D. You can click Find to go through each match and replace them one by one. You can see that now this feature ignores the case of the word. If you want the search to be case sensitive, Check the mark Match Case here. Now G-Sheets considers capitalization. 
To find a specific text and create various content filters, you can use the regular expressions. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button not to miss our future video presenting regular expressions. Let's select the Replace it all option to apply the changes to the whole column. Click on Done to close the menu. You can see that the Find and Replace feature rewrote our data. Those were cool features, right? Hit the like button if you find this video helpful so far. Now, let's discover even more text functions that you can use in Google Sheets and that will save you tons of time. What would you do if you need to combine text from multiple cells into a single one? If you copy those from one column to a different one, that can be really time consuming. I will show you a few ways to pull data together from different cells. Let's start with the most simple option. We will use the formula here with the ampersand sign, which acts as a plus sign to join the text. Let's write a full name here. We need to combine the cells with the first and the last name. Enter an equal sign, a reference to the first cell, ampersand sign, the reference to the second cell. Hit enter and get the full name. Hmm, okay, we missed the space between two words. Uh, move back to our formula and after the ampersand sign, we add double quotes, space, double quotes, another ampersand sign. So now we connect the data from the first cell with a space and data from the second cell. Enter and now our text looks good here. You can use not only space, but any other sign you want as a separator. Also, you can add extra text manually, but don't forget to wrap it up in quotes. We can also use the array formula to automatically apply your operation to all the rows. Click the card above to watch our array formula tutorial. The concatenate function provides a wider option to join multiple cells, delimiters, and even ranges. Let's join the same cells and add the subscription type. Enter equal sign, concatenate, open the parenthesis. Now we need to enter our arguments. First, we will add the cell reference A2, comma, double quotes, space, double quotes, B2. Then we add a comma in double quotes and the reference to the cell with the subscription type. Close the brackets and hit enter. You can see that this function is similar to the formula with the ampersand sign. You still need to enter each delimiter manually. But you can use the reference not only to a single cell, but to the range too. The function that saves lots of your time is the join function. It allows you to enter the delimiter only one time and then it will be added between each argument. Enter equal sign join, open the brackets. The first argument here is the delimiter. It is single and will be entered between arguments farther. We enter space in double quotes, comma, and then we add the values to connect. It can be a text string, reference to a single cell or a range. Type the range A2 to C2 and press F4 to fix the range as we will copy this formula later. Close the parenthesis and hit enter. The only thing that this function doesn't cover is the empty cells. If we delete this value, we get extra spaces in our join text. To avoid this problem, we can use the text join function. It allows us to ignore empty cells. The syntax is similar to the join function except for the second argument. We add text in front of this function and enter true as the second argument to ignore empty cells and false to include them. Now, G Sheets ignores an empty cell B2 and we get no extra spaces here. Let's also learn how we can split the text. Probably you have struggled with it when copying data from another source like a CSV or comma separated values file. In this column, we have the joint data. First, we'll talk about a more simple option, the split text feature from the menu. Select the range, click data in the menu, split text to columns. 
Be sure that you have two empty cells on the left, otherwise Google Sheets will rewrite data in the cells. Click on this drop-down list where you can choose a character. As there is no slash in the list, we we'll select the custom one. Enter slash in the box. And there we go, Google Sheets separated the text by a slash. If you don't want to lose the original join data, you can use the split function. It is a more diverse tool, which allows considering multiple arguments. Let's undo our previous action. Select the destination cell, equal sign, split, and open the parents. The first argument is the text we want to split. In our case, it's a reference to cell A2. The second argument here is the delimiter. You can use any character or even a function. We enter slash. The next arguments are optional. You can state whether you want to divide text around each character contained in the delimiter or not, and if you want to remove empty text from the result. These arguments are true by default. Close the parents and hit enter, and we get the same result but save the original text. The split function allows you to split the text, but what if you want to extract a part of the text or even some characters? Google Sheets has a group of functions for this case too. Let's extract the user ID from the first column. We will use the left function here. It helps you extract a specific number of characters on the left. Enter an equal sign, left, and open the parents. The first argument here is the reference to the cell or a text string. We enter A2. The second argument is the number of characters we want to extract. In our case, all user IDs consist of six characters. Close the brackets and hit Enter. The right function helps you extract characters on the right. It has the same syntax. Let's get the device types in this column. Enter equal sign, right, and reference to cell A2 and six characters that we want to extract. Hit enter. If we want to extract the middle part of the text string, for example, IP address, we can use the mid function. Let's extract the IP address. Enter an equal sign, mid, the reference to cell A2, then we enter the index of the character from which we want to start extracting. It would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 in this case. Don't forget that we count spaces and signs too. The last argument is the number of the characters to extract, 13. Hit Enter. Wildcards are used in Google Sheets functions to check a partial match. In Google Sheets, three signs act as wildcards – asterisk, question mark, and tilde. These signs can replace any character before or after the value you state as a text parameter. For example, wildcards are frequently used as a part of the criterion in the COUNTIF function to count the number of cells that meet a certain criterion and also sum a function to sum the range that matches specific criteria. To learn more about COUNTIF and sum if functions, watch our previous videos. I will leave the links in the video description. Let's count the number of users by the device type. We're gonna use the COUNTIF function for that. Select cell, equal sign, COUNTIF, open the brackets. The first argument would be the reference to the range with the data. Let's fix it, because we'll copy the formula later. Comma. The second argument is the criterion. If we enter mobile in double quotes here, we get zero. That's because Google Sheets searches for the exact match. To perform a partial match, we place an asterisk in front of the word. Asterisk takes the place of any number of characters, so this combination will count any cell that contains mobile in the end. Close the brackets and hit Enter. We've got three users here. To calculate the number of users with the laptop, we copy the previous function and replace the criterion mobile with laptop. And that's it, we've got six users. 
That's it for today and I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Now, after you have learned the most common text features and functions, you can easily manage verbal information in your spreadsheet. Let me know in comments how often do you work with text in Google Sheets and which features do you use. Don't forget to subscribe to Railsware Product Academy channel to watch our future tutorials. See ya!